Hey everyone, this is Chase at Rocky Mountain ATVMC, and if you're like us Utah riders and you refuse to let cold weather stop you from having a good time in your motorcycle, well stick around because we've got five tips and some great products to help you stay warm and comfortable in your cold weather rides. So as you can see all around me, there is snow on the ground. It's the middle of February out here in Utah. It is 35 degrees, but that is not gonna stop me and some friends from going and ripping this sand track behind me and having a good time. But there is something that we have learned living in Utah riding in cold weather, whether it's on our dirt bikes or on the adventure rides that we do, is that it sucks when you are cold. So with that in mind, we have some great products, some great tips that we wanna share with you that will help keep you warm and comfortable. So whether you live in a cooler climate, you're looking to pick up some cold weather gear, or maybe you plan to go do a ride and it might be chilly, well trust me, take it from us, from our experience, it pays to invest in some good gear to help you stay warm and comfortable. So let's kick it off with category number one, which is base layers. So when I talk about base layers, what we're talking about is the layer of clothing that's going to be closest to your body. You want to make sure you have good quality base layers that are going to help trap heat in, but also wick away moisture. You know, sometimes you start a ride, it's pretty chilly out, but you start to ride, you start to work, you can start to sweat. So it's important that it does both things pretty dang good. So we're going to talk about how to keep you warm and good base layers from your feet all the way up to your head. So first let's talk about your feet and your toes. I'm sure a lot of you have been there. We've all had frozen toes at one point. It sucks. So do yourself a favor, invest some good socks to help prevent that from happening. So one that we like here is this is the XCR sock from Moose Racing. What's cool about these is they're just a normal moto sock, but they have a blend of merino wool and nylon. I'll talk a little bit more about merino wool here in just a moment, but what's awesome about merino wool, it does a great job of trapping heat so it helps keep you warm, but also it wicks moisture really well. So again, if you start riding, you start to warm up, your feet start to sweat a little bit, that merino wool is gonna really help wick away that moisture. So invest in a good pair of socks. Or if you're gonna be doing some riding and you anticipate some rain, or maybe there's a lot of puddles, some creek crossings, whatever it might be in that ride that you're gonna be doing, a lot of people don't know about them, but these are the covert waterproof socks from Klein. So they have these in multiple different sizes and you literally just put it on just like a normal sock. You wear it right over top of the socks that you have on and you have just now waterproofed your motocross boots. So don't, if you don't have a pair of boots that are waterproof and you wanna make sure that your feet don't get wet, this is an awesome route to take. From there, let's talk about your leggings, keeping your legs warm and your upper body, your core. So you want to, again, just like with socks, you want to have a good quality base layer that traps heat, wicks moisture. So for me personally, I love merino wool. Merino wool is one of my favorite materials when it comes to base layers. I've been using it for years. I use it for hunting. I use it for riding. So I'm actually wearing the Teton merino wool bottom as well as the top from Climb. And here's a couple things, like I mentioned, kind of with the socks that I love so much about merino wool. Merino wool, it does an incredible job of, again, holding heat in, it wicks moisture really well, but something that I have found that I really like about it as well is that even if you're riding, you're working hard and you're getting sweaty, even when merino wool gets wet, it still keeps you warm. That's a characteristic that I really like about it. And also, another perk on merino wool is that it's, it's naturally antimicrobial, so it resists odor. So if you're riding in a shirt or a pair of leggings all day, you're getting hot and sweaty, it's not gonna stink so bad when you're all done or the next day when you go to get it out. So I really like merino wool, but there's a lot of other great materials. We have a lot of different base or base layer materials that you can choose from on our website, but these are just ones that I really like. Now, after you get your core, your upper body, now let's talk about your head. So your head is one of the easiest places for your body to lose heat. So obviously keeping it as warm as possible is really gonna help. A quick little tip, if you have a helmet with a lot of vents, you can tape off the vents on your helmet to stop as much airflow going through as you can. But a couple other good ideas, Balaclava, we have a lot of these on our site. This is just the one from ARC. What's great about this one, it's really thin. So to help it keep you warm, but because it is so thin, it fits a little bit easier underneath helmets. So if you're looking for a nice thin Balaclava, this one would be really good, but we do have a lot of other options, ones that are a little bit thicker, ones that block the wind. So you got a few options there. The last one is from Zan and it's this nylon dome. So it's just a real thin nylon hat, basically like a small beanie that you just put right on top of your head. This is actually one that I wear too when it's really cold. So you just put on like a beanie, slip your helmet right over the top, helps keep your head nice and warm. So that's base layers. Again, we're talking about your toes, leggings, upper body, and then also your head. All right, so category number two is the gear that you're gonna be wearing. Now there's not too many options out there as far as motocross off-road gear designed specifically for cold weather, but there are some good options available. One that I'm wearing that I really like, this is the Legion gear from Fox Racing. 
What I like about this gear is it's designed for off-road riders. It's built super durable. It has more of that motocross look to it, so I really like the fit of this gear. But the durability and the construction is what makes this ideal for cold weather. So when you look at the pant, it's a ripstop core Dura all the way throughout the entire pant, so super durable. But if you warm up, you still have some big vents here on the thighs. You got a couple pockets as well. But the durability is good, and also this thicker ripstop material helps block the wind. With the jersey, it's still more of a motocross style jersey, but what I like about it is that the sleeves, they're actually made from a four-way Cordura fabric as well, so just a little bit more durability there. And then lastly, I have the Fox Legion soft shell jacket. This is one of my favorite pieces for riding in general, especially in cooler temps. What I love about this, one, it's super comfortable. It looks good as just a casual jacket if you wanna wear it outside of riding. But for me, it does a great job of blocking the wind. You have a couple pockets to put your items, a couple zips. You have a fleece lining on the inside that helps keep your body heat in. But also what I love about it is that after riding for a little bit, if you do start to warm up, the sleeves zip off, which I'll be the first one to admit, I used to think that zip off sleeves weren't that useful, but trust me, buy an, a cooler riding jacket and you'll come to find out that it's nice to have those sleeves zip off. And then you can actually just put them in the pocket that this jacket has on the back. So again, with riding gear, look for some gear designed for cooler weather. Now, probably the biggest complaint that riders have in cold weather, and I don't blame them, is hands. If your hands get cold, it can ruin your day real quick. So there are a lot of glove options for cold weather. If you're a dual sport adventure rider, you can get waterproof gloves that are made out of leather and other materials that do a great job. But if you're looking for more of a motor motocross style glove, that's not gonna be too bulky, but still offer some good warmth for the hams. We have a lot of great options for those as well. So the ones that I have, these are the Hydromatic Brisker gloves from 100%. So with these, they're still pretty thin, but they do a great job of help keeping your hands warm. And the way they do that is the material on the palm is actually waterproof. So if your grips get wet and you're grabbing the bike, it's not gonna force water through the glove to your hand. And then on the back of the hand, they actually have a little bit of insulation. So it just helps keep your hands a little bit warmer. Now a good tip to go along with that is something that I've actually done as well, is if you take a, just a pair of latex gloves, a mechanics glove, and you actually wear that underneath your gloves, latex gloves, they don't breathe at all. So they're gonna be waterproof, but also once your hands start to warm up, it traps the body heat in really well. So your hands might get a little bit sweaty, but those latex gloves do a great job of blocking the wind and also trapping that body heat. So that's our second category is just get good weather or good gear for cold weather riding. All right, category number three, bike accessories. So what we're talking about here is how to keep your hands warm on the bike. So first thing, pick up a set of hand guards. There's a ton of different options out there. You know, ideally you wanna have a hand guard as big as possible. It's gonna block as much wind or maybe water if it's raining. So, but honestly, anything's better than nothing. So just pick up a set of hand guards. I've got these GP hand guards from Tusk. They are kind of small, but like I said, anything's better than nothing. But you can look at our website. We have a ton of different hand guard options to choose from. Or if you wanna go all out, you've got these bushwhackers from Giant Loop. So these are massive hand guards. And when you see these installed on a bike, you see just how big they are. So if you wanna do as much as possible to block all wind, then the bushwhackers are probably the best route that you can take. What's cool about these two is if you already have hand guards installed, these will actually just fit right over top of your hand guards. And lastly, heated grips. If you have a bike that's capable of running additional electrical accessories, we have a lock-on heated grip from Tusk for motocross bikes. They are a little bit larger in diameter, but they do a great job. They keep your hands nice and toasty warm. And you couple those with a nice cold weather glove, that's gonna help you stay really comfortable and keep your hands nice and warm. So that's our third category, is do as much as you can in the front to keep your hands warm and block the wind. All right, so category number four, vision. Probably not something you think of too often, but in cold weather conditions, goggles will fog up quickly. After you ride for a little bit, you start to build up some heat on the inside of your goggle, but once you stop, as soon as you stop airflow going through your goggle or your helmet, they start to fog up really quick. And if you leave it for too long, that fog will turn into condensation and then it becomes really difficult to see out of. So what we recommend is make sure do what you can to prevent your goggles from fogging. Now on our website, you guys know we have a lot of different goggle options. There's even some that have a dual pane lens, which are designed specifically to combat fogging. But in any case, no matter what goggle you have, what you can do is you can use just an, an anti-fog cleaner. So you have a couple different options here. I've got this spray from Scott. So with this, you just spray it on your lens and then you just wipe it off. Or they even have a cloth and all you have to do is just dampen this cloth or even just breathe on your lens. Use this to wipe it down and that will leave a film on there that will help combat fogging. So in cold weather conditions, take it from us. You wanna do everything you can to prevent fogging. 
All right, so category number five to finish all up, we're gonna call this category other. And this one, we just wanna show you some cool ideas, some tips that you might not think of too often, but for us, are lifesavers. And the first one, our hand, toe, and body warmers. So we have these hot hands here. You can buy these pretty much at any store. They make them for your hands. They have a larger patch that goes on your chest if you want to, and then they have some for your toes. What's great about these is as soon as you open it, it has a chemical reaction that'll start to heat up the pad right away. So you can put it in your boots if you want to. If you have a jacket with pockets, you can put some inside your pockets, put your hands in there if they're getting cold. Or with the body one, just slap it right on your chest. And these things last for several hours. So trust me, get some of these warmers. They're inexpensive, you can find them just about anywhere. Next up is with hydration and warm drinks. So even in cold weather, you gotta remember your body's still working just as hard as if it was if it was really hot outside. So you're still burning energy, your body's still using water to hydrate itself. So even though you might not be dripping sweat, you still need to stay hydrated. So pick up a pack or make sure to take a couple water bottles with you just so you can stay hydrated. But also going along with that, pick up an insulated bottle. If you're out riding, nothing is better than stopping, taking a break and having something hot to sip on. It might be hot chocolate, you get just some hot water in there, mix it with something or coffee, whatever it is that you wanna take, stop at a gas station, make it at home before you go out, but you can pick up an insulated bottle. We have this one right here from Rocky Mountain you can pick up. That way, if you're stopping, taking a break, probably one of the best ways to stay warm is have a nice hot drink. All right, everyone, so there you have it. Those are some of our favorite tips and ideas to help you stay warm in cold weather riding. To pick up any of the products that we talked about today, you can click on the link at the end of this video or head over to RockyMountainATVMC.com. Or if you do ride in cold weather conditions and you have some other tips or suggestions to help riders out, leave those below. Remember guys, if you like this top five video, you wanna see more just like it from different categories as well as our buyer's guides, our how-to videos, our product spotlights, well, make sure to get subscribed to our YouTube channel and that way you never miss out. I am Chase, we'll see you on the trails.